Hello SPSO members, this tutorial is how to refund money back to a customer and or give them a partial refund. There's a lot of different reasons you would have to refund the money. Maybe you checked all of your drop shipping capabilities and, and nobody seems to have it in stock or maybe somebody has it in stock but or is going to have it in stock in a couple of days but the homeowner can't wait for it or maybe even the homeowner just ordered the wrong products. So what you need to do is you need to go into the back end. Again, this is this is my test site here. You need to go on the back end. You need to go to click on orders and then click on view your orders. And let's pretend that Michael Chester here accidentally ordered the wrong products. So what we're going to do is we need to refund his money. So you can you can open up his order and let's say that he didn't want this Raypack Pilot anymore and what you what you do is you actually click down and you click on refund so you go over here to where the little gear is and then you'll click on refund here will give you an option to refund the whole amount or give them a partial refund if you do give them a partial refund maybe there was a shipping issue or maybe you're giving them a discount maybe he's a nice guy you can put in that amount of money and then once you click refund everything is done automated on the back end um, if you do a partial refund, I'm obviously not going to do this because this is an actual order. So if you do a partial refund or if you actually refund the money, this drop down box will actually go down and say refunded. So when this triggers, this automatically sends an email to Michael Chester and with this, with, with this, you don't have to email the customer saying that saying that uh, that you refunded their money. So it really is everything is automated on the back end. Be very careful whenever you're moving or changing any of this stuff, just so that you know, because all of these send automatic emails back and forth to the homeowner. So if if by chance you accidentally click completed, it's going to say completed to this homeowner. He's going to be very confused because he's still awaiting shipment. So just just bear in mind, most of the stuff that happens on this back end will automatically change these. So I hope this tutorial helps on how to refund somebody's money.